this one five. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Check this out. I finally got uptime working this morning. Armin extracted package before its contents are destroyed. Three hours, seventeen minutes, fifty seconds, and eight one five milliseconds. Affirmatif, j'y vais. Escouade ennemi en visuel. I want you guys to know everything that you need to know to enjoy watching my stream. So, since I have two sharpshooters, I think I'm going to go up to the edge of this building. <laughs> yep, for liberal definitions of valuable space jamming. The AWC has been replaced with a low-profile training building. It contains four tubes. You can put a soldier into a tube to train low-profile on them. It takes you 30 days. Got it. It's still a little bit overpowered. Huh, we seem to be stuck. Everything on the map seems to have moved directly toward us. Okay, let's let it keep coming. And start fighting, I guess. Closing on target position now. Fortunately, we don't have to go that far to hack. I wish I could sword overwatch. Because what we really need right now is a sword overwatch. Impact Fields is, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm, whoa! Whoa! Cool under pressure. Officially best perk in the game. Sharpshooter is officially best class. He's still shooting! Oh my god, this is the guy with Guardian! <laughs> oh my god, he's still shooting! Okay, he finally stopped. That was pretty bonkers. That going to like pull or no? Okay. On the move. Lyrium core. I remember right. We sort of need a Lyrium core, so it's nice to have. Oh, he stopped shooting because he ran out of bullets. <laughs> On your order. Target package secured. This is the map from Long War One. Not sure if true. Gonna need a bigger magazine. I'm not sure that it's possible for Guardian to uh, fail. I don't think I've ever seen someone with Guardian stop overwatching before they ran out of uh, bullets. Well, under pressure is actually good on assault if you take CCS. That's definitely true. Well, under pressure is a pretty good perk. It's not 
not terrible. Rolling out. It's just that the only place in a mission where overwatches are really breakable is that concealment ambush. And they're already good enough without any perks invested in them. So you can sort of set up situations where they do stuff outside of there, but it's harder. Moving to position. This is the last spot on the map already. Moving to position. is one of the strongest things that rapid targeting does although actually this turn the fact that i have rapid targeting is irrelevant okay oh no it's not because i can move up just rapid targeting something so that your shinobi has a higher chance to hit it with a sword attack is really really strong early in the game you can grenade as well Get kills on on sharpshooters out of the AWC. That's hey, silly. Can you actually get it on sharpshooters though? It might not be allowed. Get ready for a surprise. Sure that aggression does not help with biggest booms. You watching? Go, go, go. Careful shot has panicked. Damn it, aim McCareful careful shot. Yeah, but we like very deliberately took kill zone off the sharpshooter perk tree, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if it had also been excluded from their from their AWCs. Got it covered. Moving on target location. I wonder if whatever like body is still twitching in my ears is ever going to stop. Have gotten a protocol on him instead of setting up the overwatch. That detonator isn't going away. Get to the vault and disarm it before we run out of time. I could have also gotten a solid copy. Thing the jig. Smoke grenade on him. Focus aim, be careful shot. I believe in you. There it was. Hostile terminated. Burning through ammo fast. Vous voulez que je mette ça où? We'll 
do. So apparently this is a fan theory that uh, like Alfred is Batman's actual dad. On your order. Because uh, Alfred and Bruce Wayne's mother spent a lot of time alone. And because Alfred is extremely loyal, etc. The corresponding fan theory could venture that uh, Radford is like everybody's dad in XCOM 2. What level is he? Is his hack actually good? I think he started with 7 hack. This is a small supply cache, gives me basically nothing. I'll go for it. I mean, if he's going to be one person's dad, I don't know why he wouldn't be everyone's dad. Rock and roll. Killzone is a tier 3 Back defensive. Shu Halu. At least we know where they are. <laughs> you found the cake. I mean, Bradford, he knows how to have a good time, you know? Are we gonna get like seven overwatches with the same sharpshooter again? Only one? Is that bugged? Man, that's my guy with Guardian too. Okay, well... I guess we can confirm that Guardian does not give you infinite overwatches. However, we've also confirmed that it's possible for me to lose a coin flip, which I'm fairly unsettled by. Another pretty good spot for rapid targeting. able to just leave next turn. Shinobi might not be able to. Especially if he's bleeding out. PSQ, how's it going? to play another turn. On the move. On the move. It's like very safe to try to play another turn, but it is possible that I fail to kill this guy with the Shinobi. I'm gone. It's really, really hard. Maybe it's not possible. Ah. Rama39, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying the show and thanks a lot for the support. Just 
still 0% all the things. No, we're playing uh, a campaign we're actually going to win this time around. This is the plan. And Amethyst Silver thing. Sorry, I was posting in Pavona stuff there. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. If you are enjoying the show, thank you so much for the support, you guys. under pressure to covering fire or to revival protocol I'm not planning on having psi operatives here so probably revival protocol I'm wondering if I'm taking kill zone. I don't really know. Covering fire is a very mediocre perk. It can be okay. Um, so if we get like an elite hair trigger and plus our regular aim progression, plus maybe a height advantage and a depth perception PCS or something like that, covering fire starts to be pretty appealing. We're just not going to deal that much damage though with covering fire because we're relying on the crit. That's the thing. The cool under pressure is largely getting its crit from enemies moving because they're not in cover. Another suppressor and a depth perception PCS is pretty nice. Mutants have infinite counterattacks. I believe they do. Interference has saved your ass too many times to count. You can get the thing that Interference does from a lot of other sources though, right? You can like use lightning reflexes, suppression, flashbangs. It's a very powerful thing, but there are other ways to get it. You can even um, use like one of your soldiers health bars and just tank it. Ooh, we are 100% countering Vigilance. Thank you very much. I will pass on having that. So yeah, Interference is a powerful, powerful effect, but it's replaceable from other, From other areas or from other soldiers or whatever and revival protocol is really hard to replace with anything else it does something very unique walk fire training probably have to wait until walk fire is done that's fine
or we can just send this team after they're done with this stuff. I do have enough intel to boost because we beat that mission. Or we can try it as a light. I've beaten a very light with a team much like this. It's still early in the campaign. It's just a little <laughs> optimistic, I guess. <laughs> Extremely light sounds better. Vengeful dream. 